I'm a very lazy person, so much so that I no longer type the underscore. Well, I don't type the underscore directly. So what does that exactly mean? Well, let me show you. Let's jump into my configuration. So read me and let's go ahead and look for that magical function. Uh, easy, yes, go, go par easy underscore. So let's take a second to look at this function. It is extremely small. And one of the things that I really like about this function is, or a little fun fact about it, is that this is one of the first functions I've ever written in Elisp. So this is extremely old, probably around the same time I started learning uh, Emacs and I just kept it in and so far I've always every day I use it since then. Now what exactly does it do? Well whenever I type the semicolon on the keyboard it will automatically convert that into the underscore unless I do control U and then press a semicolon in which it says hey I want the actual semicolon. Now why is this useful? Well I program in Python which is mainly underscore based instead of something like C++ or C which you have to have semicolons at the end. And me being lazy, I didn't want to type, always reach my pinky or whichever finger to type an underscore. I just decided to write this and it's stuck ever since. So how exactly do I use it? Well, let's go up here a little bit and I bind it right here to the semicolon itself. So hey, whenever I press the semicolon, I want you to call this function in which it does the underscore or semicolon like I just described. And this is mapped to the global, global key binding, I should say so that automatically, no matter what language I'm in, unless the key mapping of that mode overwrites it, it will always use this easy underscore. So right now, in org mode, if I press underscore, it will also do that. And if I do control U, a prefix, and type in semicolon, as you can see, it actually displayed a semicolon or inserted a semicolon. This is just something very short and sweet that I thought I would share. And I plan on releasing more videos like these that are just little tidbits of information or Elisp code that I've found from other people or read it or whatnot and that I think are pretty interesting or cool. Let me know what you think. Remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.